Okay, so put your pillows on the table. Okay, I need them flat, so don't. Sweet. Okay. Okay, so. Here we go. Flat. Flat, thank you. Is that okay. flat? That is flat enough, okay. Okay. Now, um, you do actually have some mechanical aptitude. Either that or you're a problem solver, looking at your thumbs, okay. You have a very, you're right-handed. Mm, how'd you know that? Well, I'm presuming you are. Most people are. Yeah. Okay, because th the difference between the two hands is your left hand is what you started out with. This is what you make of it, okay? And the one thing with palmistry, you look at the hands and you look at the difference between the, li the major lines. And your major lines, okay, this is your heart line, reads from here to here. This is your headline. Now, how old are you now? 54. Okay, so funny enough, you're a bit of, a wee bit of a late bloomer, okay, because I think the path really appealed to you as a person probably didn't hit you till your mid-30s. Correct. Yeah, can you know why I know that? I, I, I don't make a mystery of this, I explain, it's a science. No, how do you um, know that? Well, can you see your heart line, I mean your head line and your life line are joined all the way up to here. That would be around your 35th, 36th birthday. So you were not the master of your own path until you were in and doing what you wanted to do till you were in your 30s. Unlike me, can you see mine? They're not even joined. Can you hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. So from a childhood, childhood on, I've been the main person in the family. I had literally raised half sisters and half brothers because my mother was a drunk. So, wow. so I, I was making tea and toast and sandwiches when I was five years old. Wow. So see Incredible. the difference? So yeah. if we look at yours, you do not come into your own as a person till your mid-30s and then you feel comfortable with yourself. Okay. Now you have a good right. strong lifeline. It goes down to the bottom of your hand. Very healthy spine, by the way. Well done. Mm, not exactly. There's nothing seriously wrong with it. Come on. Well, I have a bit of arthritis, but that I'm that doesn't count. That doesn't count on farmers. We're looking at genetic anomalies and fractures and breaks and things. We all, as we get older, get arthritis. You know, the Egyptian kings did. We right. do. No, okay. This is nothing to do with arthritis. This okay. is the general health of your spine is good. You know, there's no curvatures, there's no breaks, there's no, you're fine. Yeah. Okay. In ancient Hindu palmistry, this is an x-ray of your spine. Okay. Where? This one? All this way down here. That's an x-ray of your spine. According to the ancient Hindus. Hmm. Yes. Okay. And okay. you know, nine times out of ten, I know when people have scoliosis just by looking at their hand. You don't even need an x-ray. Hmm. Yeah. This is... Okay. Very, most people who are self-determined have this. It's you don't automatically get a fate line on your hand. A what? Fate, F-A-T-E. Is that what that is? Yep, that is your fate line. Okay. Fate line. So F. some people don't even have that. No. Really? No, it's it's not an automatic. It's going to be. I have one right up the middle of my hand. Okay. And a lot of what's the percentage? How many people don't have that line? I would probably say about 20% of the population doesn't have a fate line. What causes it? Mainly people, most people who are self-employed have a, a fate line. Sorry, I'm, that's annoying, I'm turning it off. Huh. Most people who are self-employed have that. Uh -huh. um, also, when you undergo major changes in your life, sometimes there will be a branch here or here that connects that, and then we ignore the fate line. The I don't line. have that, do I? No, you don't. Um, but I've had so many changes, there should be so many branches. Well, the, you'd have the breaks on different places, but you know, basically, um, you don't, you don't have that indication on your heart. Okay? okay, right. The way you have a lot of crap is on your heart line. I have line. a lot of crap? Crap is on your heart line, okay? So, your heart line. This one here, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you know, kind of an, I wouldn't say it was a difficult childhood, but I, I would say it was an interesting childhood, maybe a little bit, a little bit different. 
Uh, I had a perfect childhood up until the age of six or seven. Okay, so then difficult childhood. After seven, everything went haywire, yeah? Yeah, okay, because you, you've got, you know, little striations and bibs and bobs along that line, and it actually shows up does, on this hand better than it does on that hand. On this hand? Well, is it chronologically ordered? Like it starts here and then it goes here as you get older? Or? <laughs> well, you know, some people start out pretty pretty dicey and then iron out as it gets, maybe life gets better for you, you know? The good news is you don't have any major, this is your health line. And you this one? Yeah, yeah, that is also. I thought that was like the lifeline too. No, no? Th that's the lifeline. This, th that's the head line, that's the fate line, this is the heart line, okay? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, so, you know, I do think you're very close to meeting, and it's not gonna be this alcoholic lady. You're gonna meet somebody, and it will be a life changer when you do. So it'll be a really good partnership. Hmm. So you're you're not at you're not doomed to be on your own, okay? So that's a good one. Um, now, you're, they're very faintly marked. Hang on a sec here. The D. Okay. See, you've got one of the things where you miss the boat in life is because by nature you are actually a teacher. And you just haven't hmm. followed that path. Interesting. Lots of people tell me that. Yeah, you know, really, you did miss the boat on that one. Lots of people tell me that. Yeah, yeah, because you have the natural aptitude to be a teacher. Now, you don't have... Um, but I was very slow in developing my linguistic skills. Okay. I was very quiet as a child. And then when I finally was able to talk, nobody wanted to hear me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, did you have a scar there? No, I don't think so. Okay, so what kind of, okay, 17, 18, 19, 20, what the hell went sideways there? <laughs> Another woman. Oh, God, well, that must have been a, you remember the Eight of Swords? That's the Eight of Swords with knobs on. Uh, that was a turning point in my life. I, I, no, it was very, very precarious for me. Yeah. And uh, well, can you see? You're it? asking me a question. Okay, my my girlfriend got pregnant, and she told me to screw off. Ooh. So she's with my child, got an abortion. How do you think that made me feel? Okay, because you have a real trauma there. Around. Oh yeah. Wow, I and mean, it, it it's still very firmly etched on your hand. So I'm sorry to see that. Where's yeah. that? You see, you've got, it almost looks like your hand is scarred. Mm. So that's the scar on your heart. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. that, you know, your ability to find bitches on roller skates is absolutely bloody amazing. Yeah. And <laughs> well, I, I thought I had good luck. Uh, I married my first wife for seven years and my second wife for 16 years. So yeah. For 23 years, I was relatively happy. You got, but you're, you've immediately got into the, that was your life lesson, that one, in your 17, 18, 19 time, time period, so. Oh, definitely, I said, I'm never going to allow anybody to make me feel that way again. Yeah, so, um, you, because you do have a lot, you, you try and sort of dodge it but you know you really are a person with a lot of empathy and compassion for your fellow man which is lovely you just don't like people to know you you are but you do okay so, yeah so i know having read your palm that you're a big old softy so there you go okay okay <laughs> okay <laughs> you just don't want it now each of your fingers just to give you a biography of your hand by the way you are a little bit, your immune system right now is a little bit down. So have you had a bug or a flu or lack of sleep or are you stressed over something? Well, I tried to donate blood uh, three days ago and they didn't take it. They wouldn't accept it for my third attempt because they said my blood pressure was too high. Okay. Well, you're, you, can you see it's a little bit blotchy when you look at this side of your hand. And this part of your hand actually is an indicator of what your immune system is doing. 
And really? your, your immune system is a little, you're a little bit blotchy there. Can you see Blotchy? It? Hmm. This side of my palm indicates my immune system is down? Yes. See, hmm. if you look at mine, do you see how uniform it is in color? Yeah, your hand looks better than mine. Yeah. Well, my immune system is working a heck of a lot better than yours is right now. So. Do you drink a lot of herbal tea? How do you do it? Do you know what? I, I, I'm a mindful eater. I do yoga twice a week. I, right. I, I try and eat healthy. Um, we all try that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, how I, I often do, do we do it? I'm pretty good. I really am. I'm a type 2 diabetic. I have to be good. I okay. can't be bad. I am pre-diabetic, so I'm just recently discovering that I can't handle some foods, so you got to stay away from fat and sugar, right? Sugar. Fats, actually, you can't cut fat right out because you do not digest food properly unless you have a certain amount of fat in your body. Hmm. So olive oil, you can eat olive oil. You can cook in olive oil. You can use sunflower oil. You shouldn't be using margarine. So what? Do you, okay, you're type two diabetic. You yes. don't need to take the shots. I do once a week, oh, once a do? night, once a night. At one before I go to bed, I oh. I have a lazy liver. It needs that shot at night. Otherwise, my blood sugar is too high in the morning. If I take the shot, I'm five point eight, five point six something, five point four. My blood sugar is perfectly normal in the morning. Oh, so, so, so are you, you, but I'm 75, love. So I mean, <laughs> you're able, you're able to handle. You look good for your age. Thank you. Uh, you are able to handle fats, but not sugar. Oh, I'm I'm no, I I have to avoid sugar like crazy. I I can't do but, sugar. But but you're okay with deep fried foods and all that. Well, I don't. Eat I stuff. I can't even handle that. I I don't eat deep fried foods. I mean, I I haven't even got a French fry pan in my house. You know. Um, so you do stay away from that too. I, I stay away from overly fried foods. I stay. I couldn't even eat a McDonald's hamburger. I'd be on the toilet for three days afterwards. Yeah, well, it's all the additives at McDonald's. I can't handle McDonald's. I can handle Burger King. I can handle Dairy Queen. I can handle A &W. Wendy's. I can handle A and W, but I can't handle McDonald's. I don't know what they put in their food. I, it's toxic. I have no idea either. Oh. So, but when you insane. look at when you look at your hand, you know it's always and it's not serious. It's just you're a little bit under the weather and or you're stressed. And then the other way you can okay. tell you're stressed, and you don't seem to be too stressed. I've got to be honest with you. When you look at your fingers, we all have these lateral lines on the finger. They, they're going straight up. Can you see that? Yeah, I see it on your hands. I don't see it on yeah. my hands. Well, when you're super stressed, it looks like you can play noughts and crosses on your hands. On your fingers, because it's Knots bars. And crosses. It, it's got like bars, you know. Are you grids. from England? Yeah, originally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said knots and crosses. Yeah. So well, it's. I'm like, what's that? Okay, so, um, if this finger is heavily gridded, that is you're not getting your communication through. If it's this one, it's your Apollo finger. This is your Mercury finger, so that's communication. If it's this one, it's your environment or you're eating or doing something that isn't agreeing with your body. If it's this one, it's your work or your boss, that's your Saturn finger. And if it's this one, it's your family. If it's all four, you're really screwed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, you don't want it. So you don't want those longitudinal lines going down any of your fingers. Well, you, you want the... You can see long stripes all down my fingers, fine. Okay, so my fingers are okay? Yeah. When they are... Then I'm perfect. Yeah. i got no problems. Well, you don't look too bad, but your <laughs> immune system is down a bit. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you've got a nice, generous hand. You enjoy, you know, inviting people over for food. You enjoy giving things to people. You're, 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 you're absolutely normal. I hate to dis disillusion you, but you're pretty normal. Okay. Yeah. Um... So, what's the lifeline again, this middle one? No. The curved one? Yeah. Runs down between the thumb all the way down to the heel of the... Yeah. Oh, yours is going all the way down. You're going to have a long life. No, well, so did, uh, what's her name, uh, the Princess Diana. If you put a bloody seat belt on, she'd have made it. It's basically gen oh. what your genetics are. Your chances of have a very long life with your genetics. Okay. Without accidents. Yeah. yeah. 
But I mean, she made a choice. She didn't put a seatbelt so on. So mine ends right here. So what's that? Like seventy-five years old? Not necessarily. It's you know <laughs> what? Do you know what that means? It you people with a shorter lifeline actually tend to be people with very intense focus. Uh, why is that? But it's simply because you're, you're somebody's got a grimmel and draw a line in your hand. People like I'm, I'm sure Donald Trump has one of those on his hand because you know he's. He's gung-ho to get to what he wants, okay? So, you know, mm -hmm. it, it also can be when that is a very short, and I mean, yours isn't what I would call a short one. I've had people who ended there, okay? Mm -hmm. um, it's usually that you have a unique skill or direction. Mm. So. But you see, you'd also Focus, have to look. Focused, focused, eh? Yeah, but then you'd also have to look at this because you know this your fate line actually is working its way up to your headline. What line is that again? The fate. F A. Fate. Fate. You are fated to be famous, or you are fated to be a fool. Whatever, whatever way it goes. Yeah. Okay. So either you, way, so you, we we don't know right now. Yeah. So you've got. Your fate line is actually longer than your uh, life line, so you you know your chances of being old fart are pretty good. Fate is good. Yeah. I see. It, and usually, again, people who are self determined Don't know if I want to be an old fart, though. Oh, I want to make the government pay me money till the very last minute. I'll get my money back off those buggers. <laughs> well, there's fate for you, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I hope that kind of gave you...